question today is this are you a role model are you a motorcycle role model I'm not really talking about YouTube influencers. However, on YouTube, you gotta be careful. A lot of you might say, nope, I'm no role model. But let me get more of them right quick. And some people may think, no, I'm not a role model. Because think about it, for the most part, definition of a role model is when you're an adult and there's somebody younger looking up to you, wanna be like you. And that hopefully you're setting a positive a positive tone for life for that younger person. However, role models can be bad influencer also, depending on what you're doing. So, are you a role model? Are you a motorcycle role model? And I would say if you have a YouTube channel, most likely the answer is yes. It could be good and it could be bad. Now, what I want to talk about is the bad. Because somebody might say, nah, I don't think I'm a role model. You got to look back and evaluate what are you doing, what are you putting out, and what people watching. Now, you also might think that people don't think about what they want to watch. Now, let's take it away from you two. Are you riding with people that you are setting a bad example for? And I'm going to use helmets, safety gear as an example. I'm not one who push helmets. I'm not one who against wearing helmets. I just want to be safe. This is me. You do you. However, you can be a role model for a person who just learning and do not have the skills or experience that you have. You know, skills and experience are two different things. People kind of confuse the things. But they may not have the skill that you have. And they are riding with you and watching you not wear a helmet. You should be encouraging them and let them know in a, in a positive way. Hey, until you get a little bit more riding, more seat time, a little bit more experience, going to that parking lot and practice some of your slow maneuvers, because obviously the, the slow maneuvers will help you out here also. You should wear a helmet. Because if you fall and hit your head, the likelihood of you dying or being seriously injured, hitting your head is extremely high. So in that particular case, yes, you're probably a role model. But let's take that away. Let's take the safety issue away because people are gonna dress how they wanna dress. People are gonna ride how they wanna ride. But you might start thinking, let's look at it from a legal standpoint. You might start thinking, hey, he's an adult. I'm not responsible for him. And rightfully so, to some extent, you're not responsible for that person. However, if, if you invited that person on that ride, if you didn't say, hey, try this, do that, or make the person a better rider, if there's a lawsuit, there is an attorney that will take that lawsuit. I don't care how crazy it may seem, there is an attorney that will take the lawsuit. I'm not bashing on attorneys because we all need one at specific times in our life. That's actually my turn. <laughs> so I go take Christy go home, but I'm going to continue. There's somebody to take the lawsuit. So think about it. Are you a role model? And before you say no, I will say yes. Yes, I am. I know I am because I try to teach positive stuff, especially when we was with DWRA. And I try to be a positive role model because our daughter rides. When we were out on the road, we asked our daughter, have you been riding lately? And she said, no, because it's too hot. And a group that she ride with told her, well, do not wear no jacket or you know, just go short sleeve. And her response, which made us proud, made us really proud. So we know we're a role model for our daughter. Made us proud. She said, are you crazy? If my parents catch me riding a bike with no gear on, they're going to kill me. And she told us, she also said, not to mention, I don't want to die. So she chose not to ride just because it was too hot. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. So now, separate our daughter to any youngster or any new rider 
that really want to learn how to ride and become better riding, if I'm preaching this and that and cornering and looking through the curve and safety and all that, but I'm not practicing what I preach and they ride with me often, then they're going to pick up on that. They are going to pick up on that. And if they get seriously injured and killed, somebody going to say, well, Rich invited them on a ride that they shouldn't have been on. Rich invited them on a ride that they shouldn't have been on. And he's responsible for them. Now, honestly, that don't make me paranoid. Anybody who's been on any ride that we organized or anybody that's been on any ride or any parking lot practice that we organize with our course that we set up, they know we have a very, very extensive waiver form that you sign and it's been reviewed and approved by attorneys. So before you say, no, I'm not a role model, I mean, some of you could be a bad role model and don't mind. I don't know. Think or think twice about that answer. Anyway, I just want to make a short video on role models because there's all type of role models, good and bad, every profession, every hobby, everything you do. But us being on two wheels, we could think we're doing something positive for a person by taking them under our wings and then teaching them some of our bad habits. So you are a role model, good or bad. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Make sure you answer in the comment section of what do you think. Whether you agree with me or disagree with me, I would like to know. I'm not going to argue with you, trust me. But if you are out riding today, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. For Booster Jeans Riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace.